a draft and stash, and a guy who I really like his long-term potential. Six foot seven playmaker. He can play on the ball. He can play off the ball. He shoots it off the catch, off the bounce. He recently tore his ACL, so it was a bit of a surprise that he ended up staying in the draft. But now we know why. Gets a top 40 guarantee, and is really what the NBA is all about today. You want big playmakers who can make others around you better. Really like this pick by the Wizards. And right after Krejci selecting 38 was Utah, they took Saban Lee out of Vanderbilt. Yeah, Saban Lee is an athletic score-first point guard. He's got playmaking ability, can really finish at the rim, shot a ton of free throws, 207 free throw attempts. So he loves to get into your body, he really uses pump fakes well, uh, and he's got a good step back, uh, and, uh, and he's long arm, 6'9", 6'9", wingspan. Okay, so Sa it back. <laughs> another one. Saban Lee, I believe that pick will end up going to Detroit. Be selected. Utah made the selection. Or another reminder that all trades are proposed until cleared by legal. The New Orleans Pelicans are on the clock right now with the 39th pick. They selected Kyra Lewis Jr. out of Alabama with the 13th pick earlier, and now Deputy Commissioner of the League Mark Tatum on his way to the podium with the 39th pick. In the 2020 NBA Draft, the New Orleans Pelicans select Elijah Hughes from Syracuse University. Redshirt Jr. from Syracuse averaged 19 points, 5 rebounds, 3.5 assists. Yeah, a good shooter. Elijah Hughes transferred to Syracuse from East Carolina. And he's got good footwork and balance, shot 34% from three, but takes a, a lot of tough shots. Good mid-range pull-up, uh, led the ACC in scoring, also led it in minutes played. So Elijah Hughes, selected by New Orleans, the 39th pick. There is a proposed trade that would send him 